Welcome to Pony Baseball and Softball All-Star Team Creation. First, you will log in with your username and password. You can go to pony.org or you can go directly to the Affinity site, which is pony.sportsaffinity.com. Enter your username and password and click Login from the left-hand navigation. Once you're logged in, you will see the 2017 po Pony season. You will see zones, region divisions, leagues, teams, and everything down below on the left-hand side. You will first click on Team. From Team, you will click on the Team Creation Matrix. The system will default to the zone you're associated with. You will select the region or the division that you want to create teams for. I will go into the South Division Central Region of Orange County. Then you select the league that you want to create the teams for. I will use Affinity's QA verification for our demonstration today. You will click on Continue. On this screen here, you will go in and set up the number of teams you have by division. So let's say for baseball, Pinto, seven and under, I have two teams. I have for Bronco, 11U, I have two teams. I have one Pony, 13 and under, and I have a, pa a fast pitch Shetland, 6U, create one team. Then you will scroll down and you would click Finish. If you look at the beginning of the matrix, BB stands for Baseball, FP stands for Fast Pitch, and SP stands for Slow Pitch. I will go ahead and click the Finish button. The system will give you a quick overview of the teams I just created. I have created six All-Star teams. Next, you will click on the Team ID number and click on the Team Details tab. This is where you will update the team name. So for here, we can call this Team 1. You have the ability to update the team name as well as your coaches and managers. I will scroll down and click the Update button. You have this Next Team feature here, so you would click on the Next Team and update that team name. This one will be Team 2 and click Update. Next, you will need to put the administrators on the team. So you will click on the Roster Admin tab. You will search for the administrator's last name. You can use last name, comma, first name and hit the search button. We will select Natalie Demo and we will add her on as the head coach. Down below, it'll give you a brief snapshot of their information just to make sure you're putting the right administrator on the proper team. You will click Save Administrators button. If the administrator does not show up in this box, you will need to manually add them onto the system. That means they're just not a part of a regular league or travel team that's already in the Pony database. For those steps, you will click on Players slash Administrators on the left-hand side you will click on this Add Player slash Administrator. You will need to know their first name, last name, and their date of birth. If you don't know their date of birth, give your best estimate or your best guess and try to find them in the system. If they do not show up, you will click this button here, Create New Coach or Administrator. It will populate their information you entered on the previous screen. You will select their gender and enter their address. City, At least one phone number is required. That is what the double red asterisk means. So if you only know their cell phone number, just go ahead and enter that here. And then you need to enter a valid email address.
you will click Save and Continue. The system will populate your zone automatically for you. You will select the region or the division. So again, I'm using the South Division Central Region Orange County. Select the league that they're a part of. I'm using Affinity QA. And then select their play level. So I'll say that they're going to be an all-star administrator. Create the application. If you want to upload a photo, you can. It's not required. Otherwise, just go down and click on the Save button. And then you would go ahead and add another administrator or go back to the team that you're working on next. That is how you add the administrator. So I'm going to go back up to Team on the left-hand side. I'll go to Team 1. I'm going to search for that administrator. There's Mary Demo, and she's going to be the head coach. I'll go ahead and hit Save Administrators. You can click on this Team Roster tab. This will show you here that you have so far added the coach for this team. This coach now then could log in and add players to their team. On this page, once you have your administrator and all the players have been added, you will print the Pony roster. And this will show all stars on it. Next, if you need to run the census report to make sure you're creating the correct amount of all-star teams by division for that league, you will click on Reports on the left-hand side. You will come down to Miscellaneous Reports. Report Type drop-down. You will scroll down until you see Pony Census Report. You will select your zone. You can run it for a specific league, or you can run it for all leagues, and just hit the Generate Report button. You will need to export into Excel. Select Excel from the drop-down and click the Export link. Once this opens up, it will give you all the information for the number of teams by division by league. Next, I will show you the view of the team administrator, the coach or manager, and how they add players onto the All-Star rosters. The coach or team official will log in. They will see their profile. They will scroll down and click on the Teams tab. It will show them the team that they're associated with that you just placed them on. They will click on this Team Info link. They will click on Roster Player tab. Once they have clicked on the Roster Player tab, they will see Add All-Star Player button. They click on that. They search for the individual's last name, comma, first name. You will search by their last name. You will find their name and their ID number, so you click on either one. That will move them over to the right hand side. And then you will hit Save Players button. Now if I click on the Team Roster tab, this player, Adam Demo, has a little star icon next to his name as an all-star player. And that basically means that he was a registered player on his regular league or travel team. And he now is eligible to be an all-star player. If the player does not show up, that means they have not been inputted into their regular team registration. So once you have added all of your players as a coach or team official, they will activate the team. They will click on this Activation button, and if they've passed all rules, they will click Activate Team button. Once teams are activated, if a new player wants to add, you at the Zone or Field Director uh, security role will have the ability to add them on. They won't go directly on the team. You will need your permission to verify that they should be on that All-Star roster. If you need any assistance, you can always click on Tech Support Contact here. Our toll-free number is 855-703-2576, or you can always click here to enter a help ticket.
We are open Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. <clears throat> Eastern Time, and on the weekends from 10 to 6.30. I hope this was helpful. Thank you.